Good morning, everyone. I'm Christopher, CEO and IRS Certified Acceptance Agent, Business Owner, and Tax Professional. Today, I will. Uh, this is our Thursday live chat. We are trying to invite a co-host or a speaker that ha that are part of the business community here in the RGV. Before we go further and introduce our speaker, uh, we would just like to acknowledge for those people who have questions and listening right now, just feel free to, to type your question on Facebook Live. We are having issue on uh, YouTube, but you are welcome if you have some questions that we can answer regarding the uh, safety, the guide on reopening uh, the tech business here in Texas, specifically for Cameron County. Before uh, anything else, and we, uh, these are our success stories. We have been doing tax payroll bookkeeping even the COVID-19 situation. And also we are helping our clients to promote their businesses as well. If you have needs for your uniform, uh, Sure Haven, uh, they're here in Harlingen. They're one of our clients that we were able to help to regarding their loan uh, PPP application. Please support and visit them. Uh, the Currently, on, on top of our services, we are also help, helping our clients to submit all the application through the business uh, COVID-19 business relief. Uh, we already processed almost $200,000. 93% of them are approved. We fill out the application, receive the email, and send the necessary documents. We partner up and communicate to the lenders and the SBA as long as the client will allow us to do this for them. By the way, for the past webinars, we have, uh, for the past two months, we've been doing a past webinar. If you want to watch, this webinars, you can follow us on our YouTube channel, Waiko Tax. We cover everything about the COVID-19 paid leave, the employee retention credit, the tax uh, filing deadline, the PPP uh, business debt relief program, everything you can uh, re-watch. Okay? Now, if you don't have time to watch, feel free to download the PDF copy on our website. If you have question right now, feel free to text us and we will call you after the live chat. For next week, we will have an upcoming event. The Wednesday webinar, what is the latest news regarding the economic injury disaster loan? That would be 10 in the morning for English. And we also have Spanish to cater our Spanish community at 11 in the morning for next Wednesday webinar. And ne next Thursday live chat, I will be co-hosted by Ms. Laura from the Westlaco Chamber of Commerce, the biggest mistake on applying for PPP forgiveness. So this is our YouTube channel and this is our face, uh, the website. If you want us to review your uh, documents regarding your books and taxes and payroll reports, if you're still uncertain with your COVID-19 application, we are here to give you a free consultation over the phone. Just a disclaimer, this is uh, material has been provided and prepared. This is not a legal or accounting any type of tax advice, and we are not associated with the SBA or any lenders. We are just giving uh, what resources we got. Let's jump into it. Today, um, I would be honored, I'm so honored and privileged to talk and be co-hosted by the Executive Chairman, the Chamber of San Benito. She's very supportive, and you have to really get to know her. She's very generous in terms of resource information to keep our business running. Please help me welcome no other than Miss Megan Trebino. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before what we were talking about is regarding the reopening, the reopening of the business would be on uh, June 1. Mm-hmm. And then uh, how, how has the business community in San Benito so far? Uh, do they open already? Uh, so we do have quite a few restaurants that have already opened. Um, a lot of like our uh, San Benito Vision Source, which is an eye optical um, place, uh, they're opening, but they are doing it by appointments. Um, and then we have other businesses that are, again, most of them are doing open by appointments. Um, and then slowly, like retail shops have been opened. Um, some mm -hmm. of them have adjusted their hours depending on, you know, um, I guess when they feel are the busiest days, they'll be open later or 
they're staying open uh, shorter days. It just kind of depends um, to see what works effectively for them. So, um, but a lot of businesses are open in San Benito. They're already up and running. Yes. Correct. The, uh, when they ask for any uh, safety precaution, do you guys provide a website where they can go to to check the guidelines for employers? Uh, yes, so we did post on our website um, the health department, uh, the health and human services. We did give them all of the guidelines for the different types of businesses and the type of um, requirements that the state was requesting so that they could open safely. So we have provided them with all of that information. Um, and of course, if anyone still needs the information, if they haven't reopened yet, um, we're able to provide them with that information and kind of give them steps, as well as um, the chamber is working with the city of San Benito. And oh. we, just, we just started a program called um, San Benito Safe. So um, businesses who want to open safely, um, they'll go to the city, they'll um, get all the, they have, the city also has some different requirements as well um, that they got from the state to make sure that they can open safely. And once the business has um, agreed to those uh, regulations and requirements, then we actually are going to give them like a sticker that says that they're a San Benito safe business. Oh, okay, so that's a very good initiative from San Benito. The program is, you called it San Benito Safe? Yes. Okay, so what do they uh, expect from that? Do they have to do trainings or orientation? So we're kind of just giving them all the information of, um, of how they should open safely or how we would like them to um, open safely. And so we'll be kind of checking in on them as uh, requirements either hopefully lessen so that they're able to do more. Um, but we'll be following up and updating those guidelines throughout, um, you know, how, however this thing kind of progresses, we're gonna be um, updating those requirements. Um, but we are gonna check in with them and make sure um, there's a number on the sticker that if any customer has a concern, um, that they are able to kind of let us know, let the city know about it so that we can address it if, they feel like the business is not being safe. Um, but the initiative is really just to promote safety um, for the employees and the business owners so that they can open safely and continue to get their revenue. But we also want to let uh, the community know that these businesses are taking precautions and that it is safe to go out and shop um, or eat at a restaurant and stuff like that. Yes. So these are for both existing and new business owners? Yes. Okay, that's good. And it's free, right? Yes, it's free. Oh, nice. And how long does it take? Is it like a uh, one-hour orientation? Or um, It just depends on the process. Like the process goes through the city, so they kind of go over it with them. Um, and then from there, they'll kind of sign that document that says, I've agreed to do this, and I'm going to be doing these uh, safety protocol requirements and then they're able to um, we get that list from the city and then we go out and we're going to be giving those like decals away um, yeah. letting them know like they've been certified as San Benito safe and they can get more information by going to uh, by contacting you or going to San Benito City office yes are this per appointment uh it usually is you have to call. Um, they're trying to do everything over the phone. Um, but if a business owner needs to go in person, then they're more than welcome to. This is already a requirement, not optional. Uh, yes. They, the, you, the city is requiring that the mm -hmm. businesses um, reach out to them on requirements, letting them know that they're open and what safety precautions are taking to open safely. Yeah, that's good. That's a very good uh, being proactive, especially at this point that uh, we are all on the same boat. I think that is a very good initiative from the city and also with the San Benito Chamber. I actually downloaded on top of uh, what you mentioned about the safety precaution. Remember, uh, you mentioned about the Texas Health and Human Services. They can actually, on this live chat, we provided the link where you can download. This is a general safety precaution for two, uh, for general uh, businesses. Uh, let me just walk you through what it says about the health protocols. Just a reminder for business owner, 
that of course training the all the employees for appropriate cleaning and disinfection that's number one that they said uh, then if your employees and contractors before coming into the business they experience symptoms like cough right shortness of breath chills muscle pain all of those uh, symptoms that they have to send they have to send the employee or the contractors home correct mm -hmm. there's a right to refuse the service if uh, one of the symptoms have been experienced right and yeah. then also uh, the six feet apart that's the distance right for the six feet up, uh, up, uh, apart that is something that we always have to practice uh, do we require you know, I've seen a lot of uh, the CBS store. They have this glass. Does it uh, do? Does it require? Um, it's not required, but if you want to just take that extra precaution, um, you know that's something that's good. Um, we just like here in San Benito, we really want to make sure that our community is safe. That we continue to keep flattening that curve. So if business owners feel like they need to take that extra precaution, then we definitely encourage it. Um, so, but it's not technically required. Yeah, that's correct. I've seen a, a lot. Um, some can implement that, but some of them just, I know, uh, I went to the gym this morning. They require you to wear gloves and that is still, uh, something that they've been observing just to protect everybody because I mean, business has to go on. Another thing here, uh, specifically if you're providing meals for, uh, the employers are providing meals to employees please make sure that it is recommended to have the meal individually packed of each individual. So therefore, uh, if you're providing this, I think it's better just give them a meal allowance. So let them buy their, their meal. And also disinfect any items come into contact with customers. Uh, one thing that I would, that we might implement on our office is client needs to have, or anybody needs to have gloves and masks. We, we are providing masks for them. I mean, that's not really, that's something that we can also enforce, right? Because it's case-to-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for employers with more than 10 employees, according to the Texas Health and Human Services, there should be at least one person that will observe. Either he's going to do it part-time during his shift or, an, or just a full-time that he's observing everybody. Hey, you know what? Six feet, six feet <laughs> distance. And then uh, wash your hand, disinfect. When you're coughing, cover your mouth. Uh, that's one of uh, the recommendations of the Texas Health and Human Services. On the other hand, if you, they want more information for a specific industry, all they have to do is go to the website of Texas Health and Human Services. And if you have more questions, when your business is located to San Benito EDC, or I uh, mean to San Benito, the Chamber of Com Commerce are here and the EDC are here to help, to give yes. this guidance. What other, uh, at this point, since uh, we don't have any seminars so far locally, mm -hmm. then what are these seminars? Uh, how do you provide resource information to our businesses? Um, so we're doing, a, we're going to start doing more virtual um, webinars and we were doing some earlier whenever the pandemic crisis started, um, but we're going to start doing more of those. So everything will basically be virtual for right now um, until we kind of see where we are um, in terms of like hosting workshops and hosting events like our Coffee with the Chamber and Business After Hours. Um, we want to take those precautions as well and make sure that people are safe. So, yeah, with the coffee, can you give us a when? How often is the coffee with the chamber? So the coffee with the chamber is um, every first Wednesday of the month. Every first Wednesday. So this coming June. Yes. We we have one this week, and this is this will be done virtually. Yes. Yeah, and because, be in June yes, go ahead. 3rd, yeah. Because I've been attending coffee with the chamber, you usually go, uh, what, go to a place like a business or a school and then you do it there, introduce the businesses. Yes. Right. And then the other one is you have the business networking? Yes, we have business networking, business after hours, and we're going to try to do those um, virtually as well. Um, I'm working with businesses to see if I could potentially go to their business and do the live virtual feed there. 
Um, so it's still kind of the same concept, but it's only a few of us, not a bunch of us. So I'm going to try, I'm working on that as well. Yes, and you are really a superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> you have been doing, you're also the social media manager, you know, for this, or you have someone? Uh, no, it's me running all the social media, so. Okay, there, there you go. Thank you guys uh, for listening. Also, if they want to connect with you, how can they connect with you, Meg? Um, they can follow us on the Samanito Chamber of Commerce Facebook, um, the Chamber of Samanito um, Instagram, and then if you want to go to our website, it's chamberofsanbenito.com. Okay, there you go. Uh, any questions about here in San Benito, any guidelines about reopening your business, feel free to reach uh, Meg. She's, uh, they're already open and you guys, uh, you, do you still accept walk-ins or you prefer phone appointment? Um, we prefer by appointment um, and we are requiring um, anyone who comes in to wear a mask. There, okay. Thank you very much, Meg. I know you have a long day today. We have a junior Friday because it's Thursday. It's a <laughs> short weekend. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. By the way, before we end up by next week, please uh, follow San Benito Chamber of Commerce on their Facebook page. You will know the, 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 the events. Now, if you want to know more about taxes, payroll, bookkeeping, we are pro providing video clips about the frequently asked questions. And like what we have mentioned a while ago, we have Wednesday webinar, everything, uh, the latest news for the EIDL, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. And on Thursday, we have a Thursday live chat for the common or biggest mistake for the PPP. Once again, Meg, thank you very much. I, can, I know I can always count on you and good luck. Stay safe. You have a good day. Yes, you too. Thank you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye.